All right guys, welcome back. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna target some warm water fish. We're gonna go after some small mouth, maybe some crappie, maybe even larger mouth. I don't know really what we're gonna get, but we're gonna go hit up a creek down the road here. Um, it's kind of the end of the day, so we're gonna test out the new fly rod that I got because I'm anxious to try that. We are gonna use it on some trout. Uh, in probably a couple weeks, we're gonna go up to Rangeley Air and do some fly fishing. I'd, I'd like to really test the limits of that fly rod. It's a five weight. I want to try it on some big smallmouth. I'm hoping that they moved up into the stream and they're spawning up in there. I also got my JT uh, JTX rod, which is my finesse bass rod. Maybe we can get a few fish on that. And I'm also bringing my JT Panhandler for if we stop and maybe try to get a few crappie on the way back. So stay tuned. Should be a fun little video. It's a nice day. Let's go get some fish. Okay, so we're here. Like I said, JT Panhandler. GTX and the new fly rod by Moonshine Rods and the new reel. Okay, flow actually looks perfect. I don't want a ton of water coming down through here because when that water slacks up like this, there's a lot of smallmouth that come up here and make beds. So there's a guy fishing down there. All right, so I'm gonna test out the fly rod here first. I actually see a couple beds. I'm gonna cast right to them, see if we can just hook uh, a couple of these fish. There's one right here, it looks like he's probably 18 inches, maybe 17. Need a little bit of drag on this. What better way to test out a new fly rod and reel than on some bedding smallmouth. So, let's see here. Small one. That was cool. That was like instant. Another one following her there. Not fighting all that hard. But that was like instant. First cast in there. I just got on a, uh, I'll show you it in a minute here once we land this fish. She doesn't want to come in. But yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Sick. Nice little smallie here. There you go, girl. This is the fly that we got it on here. It's just a ginger colored woolly bugger. I uh, figured it might be kind of like a little craw imitation, so. Got him. It's a little guy. He's just been kind of cruising around. Here we go. Get him back. Like I said, I might switch my fly up here real soon. For something that I can see because basically it doesn't even matter what it is you throw on the bed. If you throw something on their bed, they're gonna pick it up and move it. They're not really going to eat it. They're picking it up so they can move it off the bed because they don't like it in their little nest. So uh, if you can throw a bright color like I'm throwing here on this JTX, I'm throwing a little Ned Rig with a pink um, Z-Man. And that way you can actually see your bait and make sure it's right where you want it. Because those you kind of lose the lose the bait a little bit on there. A fish? Yep. Little guy. Oh. Okay, this place is loaded with, with bass right now. And uh this is the 7 foot 1 JTX Mag Medium Light. And this is my like favorite bass rod for finesse fishing like this. I'll leave a promo code down below for you guys if you want to order any rods or any type of gear from JT Outdoor Products. Uh, it'll give you a bit of a discount on your order. But I use this and I use the Panhandler Rod 7 footer for uh, trout. So this is a great bass rod right here. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Literally right in front of me. I might have to put that pink woolly bugger on. Let's try to get this one with a fly rod. Here we go. Smoked her. I am putting these fish right back, guys. I'm, I'm trying not to fight them for a long time. The water's still really cold, so not much of an issue, but. Okay. Ooh. This rod feels nice. 
Come on, girl. No, don't go in the rocks. Come on. Right here. Right here. Ah, sweet. Alright guys, so check that out. Put the pink one on. You guys might even be able to pick this one up in the water a little bit better too. Oh, it's just so much easier to see. And they're not going to care for the color at all, I don't think. We will find out though. We will find out. Okay, I think I saw one. Come right through here. Right here. Got him. Oh, I'm in the tree. I'm in the tree. Gotta get him out of the tree here. Oh, we're in the current. <laughs> Smoked up. Oh, come on in the net. I'm gonna let you go. I don't want to fight you too long. Probably 16 inches. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Whoa. Well, we're gonna have to work our way down here, get out of this tree. <laughs> I don't think it's really all that big, it's just feisty. I don't think he was on a bed, he was just cruising. Oh, a couple of fish right there. Taking me right out. Oh, I lost it. It's right there. There's a fish. Seems like a decent one. Yup. It's a nice one. On the Ned rig. Oh my god, there's two of them there. We got you. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Sick. Okay. That'd have been fun on the fly rod. See if we can maybe get one of those again. It's right there. These must be the little males or something that are just cruising. I mean, look at the eyes on that fish. Got her. Yes, dude, that's a good one. Friggin' smoked it. It's pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Here we go. Holy smokes. Yo, that's a big smallie. She is. We get her right back. All right, come on. Go right back. Get out of there. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's keep working our way downstream. There's one. Boom. Yeah. Oh, he's in the rock. He's in the rock. In the rock. Super red eyes. Big, mean, red-eyed smallie. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, so that wraps up this little creek fishing trip this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna link all the gear that I used um, down in the description below for you guys to find it. 
and I know some of you guys are probably going to have questions about what fly rod this was. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this. Um, it'll probably be within the next, uh, I don't know, three, four weeks maybe. Um, I've done the initial part and I just need to test it some more. Um, this is my new trout rod, but we took it out today to test it on some bass, to test the drag out, and all that stuff. So I will link this in the description below. It's a moonshine rod, but we'll get into more of the specifics in the next video. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. So if you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, I got him. Another sucker. There's like a sucker dead over there. It's like a whole mound of dirt. Man, that's probably the biggest sucker I've ever caught. I mean, look at this stuff.